How's it going guys? Zeke here, and today I'm bringing you a Let's Play of Ziggurat. Now, Ziggurat is a first-person shooter, magic-themed, roguelite game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what that is, is you have four weapons. Your primary weapon is your wand. To each character, they have their own wand. The wand never runs out of ammo, but it has to recharge. Mana, as it's called in this. Then you have spells, staves, as you can see on the counter, on the right here. And then you have alchemy, which is this little bomb-looking thing over here. And the spell book would be the middle, I guess. Uh, each have their own mana pool, and you have to get the mana by grabbing the gems that your enemies drop. Each character will have different, maybe some changes to how it works. But uh, it's all in first-person shooter. They all have a primary and an alternate fire. And the object is to survive the level and then get to the next level and then to the next level to the final level which is the number five and be, and beat the final boss each level has a boss and a completely different theme compared to the last one now as you play you unlock more and more stuff first off you get the bestiary just the more of the enemies you kill they just go there you don't see stats you just see the looks of them the names you can rotate them around just get a good look at it library oh yes yeah, some of the uh I can click you. There we go. Uh, entries that you find, and lore basically, and some of it's interesting. And then you have your armoring. Now your armor would consist of perks, which you gain per level. Scroll down here. Uh, weapons, spells, gems, or not gems, but uh, what are these? Amulets. That's it. Uh, you unlock them every time you play this game. You always will get something. And I've unlocked a few things, but I believe it was about right here. It was a cutoff or so, and it was just all unlock, unlock, unlock. Look at that. I still got pages to go. Ah. And this game is fun. It's addicting. You, you got all kinds of characters here. Let's start from the beginning. All right. These two, they're the apprentice. Just a male version and female version. No different. Kraz, Kraze, how you pronounce her name. Uh, novice class. She has small mana pools, but she has a very powerful uh, wand. And just others you unlock. This guy's kind of like a jack of all trades, made a pact with the devil. Very powerful, but uh, has very low life, very fragile. Uh, alchemist guy, staff guy, spell dude. Interesting guy. And as you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six characters to unlock. There are a total of 16 characters. Four of them are actually new from the last time I played. Now, this guy here, I actually would have him by now. I, I literally have the achievement for 5,000 enemies slain. It's just I had to do some things with the computer. And unfortunately, at the time, there was no cloud save to this game. So, ugh. But the biggest bitch will be this one. 200 games. 200 games. You don't have to beat them, thank God. But you have to play 200 games. Unfortunately, you're going to get a few achievements if you do it the cheap way, which is go in and die in the very first room. <laughs> but you'll get 200 games really fast. But, um, for this let's play, who am I going to be? I think it was, yeah, I'm going to be Jules here. Now, at the when you first start a character, they have two modes on two difficulties uh, to start with. Easy and normal. You have to unlock hard by beating normal and endless again by beating normal. Now, because you, when you first get this game and you start up, you only have one character unlocked, or the two apprentices unlocked, the male and female, and you have the bare bones basic of your weapons and your perks. Don't do anything but easy. I have actually have beaten medium or normal and with this guy but that's because health potions drop like constantly with this guy it's actually his perks now the downside is that's less mana but the fact that he could just live longer uh, he can get very very far normal is a giant jump up in difficulty which i will get to normal characters uh, I'm going to try to unlock as much as I can before I start doing that, but I figured I'd just do this as an entry. Now, since this game can take a while, we're going to do this floor by floor. 
uh, this video is going to be about floor one. Next video will be about floor two. And as you can see, one is my wand. Two would be my spell, but I don't have one. Three, my staff, and four would be my alchemy. You can see the gauges over there on the right side of the screen. The green one that's half full. You see 40 on it. Well, technically, it's just under half. Oh, Okay, so everybody has different starting stats. The default is 100, 100, 100, 100, and plus 5 per level. As you can see, I have 50 and 75 on those. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't even know what the per level is. I'd have to look on the wiki. Uh, some of his abilities. Trickster. Mystery boxes will be safer and will drop more treasure. Uh, we'll get to those in a bit. I'll, I'll actually find them. Curiosity. You'll encounter rooms with uh, more... Bleh. You will encounter treasure rooms more frequently. These two go hand in hand. That's what this guy's specialty is. Scavenger, increase enemy drop rate. This could be uh, potions all the way up to mana. Potions of mana, that's the only two things. Uh, haste, at level 5. He is the fastest character starting out with. His wand specialty, shoots projectiles in a wide arc, covering more area than usual. And this is the staff I just picked up. It is... One of the ones you unlock later on. Deals poison damage, a powerful staff at close range, but ineffective at long distances. If you have the mana, the long distance part, <laughs> don't listen to it, because I can cover a room. Yeah. That's how it shoots, and here's alternate fire. Now you can see down in the right corner, his mana comes back really fast on this staff. That's actually nice. Uh, it's your weakest weapon, but it's your best starting weapon, because it has unlimited mana. And there are different enemies. The entire game is random. And how the layout is, the enemies that spawn. Woo -hoo. And as you go on, every floor they'll get enemies will get stronger, take more damage, uh, deal more damage. You see that blue one? That's a champion. I'll try to save him for last. Ow, ow, ow. Woo Come here. Ow! Uh, come on, there we go. Ah. All right, so those little crystals I'm picking up, the, the not the yellow ones, the little diamond orb thingies, those are actually uh, experience orbs. The other crystal-looking things, like the green ones, that was your mana. Okay, see how this guy's blue? He's a champion. There are f four champion colors, I think, and one of them even goes invisible. Blue means... Uh, well, all of them will have extra life, but blue means they have a lot, a lot of life. And is a staff crystal. See? Blue means they have a lot of life. They're the tank, I guess you could say. The reason why I'm looking at the wall, I, I doubt it's going to be anywhere in the starting areas, but there are secret areas that you can find. Woohoo! Go away. Oh, crap, this is a trap room. Or obstacle course with enemies. Stay away from the corners. Yeah. Now, as you can see, it's not ooh, always going to be the same, and his goes through walls. Ah. Ah. Very good AOE, but not so great. Single target his wand. Better than a staff, though. Plus, they're not dropping enough. Ooh, that was a spell. Yeah, these... Spike Trap. That's interesting. Sometimes, uh, it's like, you don't have to worry about the side here. It's not going to burn you. But sometimes, in the hallway, like, one of these will be gone, and you can get burned. Ah! Here's a lore room. Riding the Wind. What can you tell me about these imposing flags present in the early field of battle, swinging to the rhythm of adrenaline and magic? They aren't of much help since they don't appear to distract the evil creatures even a little, but it's amusing to see how they fall to the ground because of a misplaced shot. <laughs> Just a lot of extra. Oh, hey, experience from them. I forgot about that. All right. In the beginning, all but one character will get to choose two. One character starts out with Bookworm, which allows him to get three at the start. Now, you hit harder when your health is below 25%. I... On easy mode, you rarely drop below this. However, on the final boss, you probably will. But I'd suggest starting with this. 
Easy mode potions are going to drop like crazy. And, oh, there's two entrances to it. Oh, let's go back in here. Now, Tab will see your map. Oh, this is a portal... Um, portal key. I keep wanting to call it Portal Gym. I, I played a lot of Dungeon Keeper, okay? <laughs> Old Dungeon Keeper too. Oh, that's where the Portal Gym came from, but I played both. Ah, here is a treasure room, treasure box. All right. So remember the one where it says I find these more often? I will find these more often. The other one that says safer and generally has more prizes? Sometimes they are traps. I don't know if that ability nullifies them. Nope. Uh, if wondering what the cups do, they just increase my score at the end of the level. <laughs> Sometimes you can get perk cards, uh, health, experience. Okay, see the green one? Green one just means they're, they move faster and they attack faster. A lot faster. If you're wondering what these are, they're banshees. <laughs> I am not used to this guy's speed. Huh. By the way, see how tall that door is? Now there are three possibilities. One, all characters are vertically challenged. Very doubtful. Two, um, they put the uh, camera kind of like in the middle of the character. Very doubtful as well. Or three, everything's just fucking dull as shit. By the way, I'm inside this structure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I'm looking at the walls to see if there's a secret entrance or uh, a secret room. Sorry, I'll show you when I find one. I don't think every floor has one. This is a maze room, and most likely with enemies. Yeah. Maze room just have some obstacles, sometimes even traps in them. Oh shit, these guys. Very annoying. Very quickly and leapy. Woo! Yeah, do you do have a sprint, by the way. This is normal walking, this is sprinting. If you hit either the A or the uh, D key for strafing, you will stop. You fire, you will stop. Uh, stop sprinting, not, not running. Uh, woo! Now the... Uh, Okay, not a trap. Now, the haste uh, card increases my movement speed for everything. Ooh, god room. Okay. Be very, very careful about these rooms. See, sometimes they're fickle. Uh, you can not offer anything. Offer health. Or offer mana, which is random. Uh, it's always a percentage of what your, what your overall maximum is. Find gift. Next combat. Drop rate increased. Eh, it's okay. I, I generally always get these two first. Sometimes it feels like if I do that, I'm just going to get an immediate punishment or I break something in their room or blow the candles. It, it's still random. You got punishment. Increased spell mana usage. And that's permanent throughout this guy's experience in this dungeon. Not this floor, but his the whole dungeon. Find gift. Mana pool size is increased. Now they're all 94. Okay, I'm level 2. He only gets 2 hit points a level. I did not see how much he gets per level for these, but next time I level up, I'll know. Let's see, what are they? 94. Doo -doo -doo. I'm looking for, like, a big crack in the wall for the secret room. Alright, now this is a boss portal. Now, because I have the portal key... I will summon the boss. If I don't have the portal key, you will not summon the boss. And I can already tell you which boss this one is. I don't like him, but luckily I got him on the first level. This is King Slime. You'll find out why I don't like him. Sometimes you'll find... Um... Man, a lot of these... Ooh, a lot of these rooms I'm going to have to... Ah, there it is. See that big-ass crack? That's the secret room. Always look for them. It's always an advantage. Now, every time you level up, you always get more mana, more life. Even your wand gets more mana. Sometimes even faster regen, I think. But that could just be for something. Woo! Ah, 
No skeletons aren't too bad. It's the uh, armored versions that are more annoying. They throw three axes. So it makes strafing them a bit of a bitch. Unless you're close range. Or long range, not close range. Yeah, like those guys fire. They shoot one down the middle and one to each side. Let's get to the staff. Nah. Poison. Just gotta hit them once and they die. Alright. Well, on this low level. There we go. Now you approach this, you'll get some background to some of the games they've released. Seems like a tower defense game. I actually did not read it. <laughs> Unfortunately, all this, anything they have on reading just goes way too fast. I'm a slow reader. Perk card. Reduce mana usage while stationary. So, one shot dropped me to about 56. Just moving. To 58. Uh, and they stack. Some of them go to 5. I think some of them actually go farther now that they've upgraded. Or uh, updated. Alright, so boss room there. Over here's another room. Now, there are three different endings to this game. And it's actually based on the progress that you do. If you clear the majority of the rooms, you'll get the good ending. If you clear about half of the rooms, you get the medium ending. You clear hardly any rooms, which you've got to be very good at dodging for that. You'll get the bad ending. Let's go to staff. Woo! If I can hit. You should die. There you go. I try not to waste mana in the early game. Early game mana is an issue, but as you get to like 4 3, mana is not too much of an issue. Especially if you get lucky on the perk cards and the weapons. You can increase the mana pulls for each individual weapon. Or all of them if you get the right perk. And there's even other perks that I haven't even unlocked yet. There's so many. Where am I going? <laughs> Straight forward to the first boss of the game. All, almost all bosses will pretty much summon things. I think there's only a few that won't. And they just keep summoning them. The only thing they seem to drop is mana. Uh, get close enough, that little wave will hurt. And this is the way I hate him. Especially when he has a full freaking room. Oh! Ow. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Uh -huh. And when he dies, all of his minions die. Whew. Grab on this. Level up. Alright. Uh, this is nice. Uh, I don't know if it's set or percentage based. Some of the ones for health and mana get back. Once you enter like combat for the first time for that room, you'll get a percentage back if you get it. And you can level them up to five. This, I think it's just a set amount, but hey... It's really nice. You saw all those books back there. Sometimes you'll see a lot of levels. You don't have to run into them. You just have to shoot them or whatever not. You break it, you get life back. Kind of nice. This is actually my favorite here. You take a hit, you get a boost of speed. I love it. And this is it for level one, and I was having issues getting up there. Let's see my score. I usually skip past these. But, whatever. 11 minutes. It will get longer. As they start throwing more enemies at you, uh, a lot of them just take more damage as well. Higher levels, even more so. I think sometimes even the dungeons can just get bigger. Slightly. Anyways, that's it for level 1. I will see you guys at level 2. Later.